It's Pete from Cheap Homesteading. I'm out in the bee yard today and it's a little bit of an emergency. Last night I was sitting on the couch. My wife was looking at the Facebook posts and someone said, oh, there's bears eating our uh, bird feed. And uh, all of a sudden um, we, we noticed that um, this bear was really less than one concession. Like it's in our concession in between the roads. So I'm like, this bear is really, really close. So I was kind of worried all day at work and I've been calling around trying to get some stuff and I found an electric fencer that is 12 volts and it was a reasonable price. So Krista went out to get the fencer and a bunch of insulators and everything and we're going to start putting these posts in. I have to get the bee yard a little bit secure because that's just crazy. I mean I only had three beehives make it the winter and then I don't want like a bear to get it. So we're going to have to do this quick. Let's go. Pardon the mess in the bee yard. I didn't get around to cleaning it yet. I am going to run a fence line right from there, right over to here, so I can come around this pallet, and then I'm gonna come down, and then I'll come up the far side. I may have to move this pile, uh, but we're gonna do what we have to do to get the electric fence up tonight. So. And so it's my bee yard and I didn't want it to be a total wreck so I did run a string so at least the posts are even. So I went to Rona and I went and I got some cheap tea posts, that's all I really could afford. And I'll show you how I put them in. We have a ton, a ton of uh, rock here and there's no way I'm going to punch that tea post in. So I have a big steel punch that I pound in first and then I pound the tea post in. Get the safety glasses on first. Not the most ideal time to do this. Mosquitoes are horrible. Then you loosen it up a bit. You get your T-post and we'll pound that in a little bit. I should get a post pounder but Okay. She ain't straight. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I got one row in, I got the other side to do. Then we're gonna have to try to fill this in somehow. I'm gonna have to straighten up these posts a little, but that side's in. I'm gonna make another row on the other side, and we're gonna make a parallel and try to stiffen up the posts and get it ready for the wire. So I can cut down on the time and the amount of posts I need. I'm gonna use that cedar as my corner post. I'm gonna have to cut all those branches out to make sure that they don't short out the fence. I'm gonna have to do a better job of this later, but for now, we're just gonna hack down what we can.
So two out of my four corners have trees as the anchor point. And I have these screw-in insulators. Since the tree is wider than a post, I'm gonna to have to put three insulators here and then three insulators on this side of the tree. It'll make it around the tree without the wire touching the tree, which is important because you don't want to short out and then your fence doesn't work. These are very easy to install. My anchors are here, so when the wire comes in, it'll go to the next one without wrapping around the tree. Uh, okay, so now we gotta put the ones on the posts. So these little uh, insulators clip on the actual uh, T-post. If, if you buy good quality T-posts, it'll actually go on the flat side, but mine doesn't, so I think this is the best way I'm going to anchor them, is have the posts sideways. So we got a bunch more to do, and then we'll start stringing the wire. I tied off the end of the corner. I'm going to get a stick that goes through the wire and I'm going to pull it around. Okay, so this is the worst splice job of life, um, but it's gonna get her done for sure. So I'm gonna have to come back and try to fix this up a little bit, but we need the wire up and ready for tonight. So I've got one more post over there. I have to kind of turn and hammer in, and then we're gonna start trying to tighten up this wire. This is probably a really bad fence job, but I got the wires up and everything. Um, there's a tree in that corner, a tree in that corner, and a tree in that corner. So this is the only corner that isn't actually supported, and I couldn't put the post in far. So what I'm going to do is tension the wires by just kind of using, using this post up against the top of it, and then we'll wire it in good. Wow, the mosquitoes are horrible. Very, very problematic. Normally, you don't choose to be out here working in the bee yard this late in the evening, or you'll get carried away by bugs. But, I don't have much of a choice. So this is a house ground rod. I'm gonna to try to get down as far as I can, but I have so much rock. I'm hoping I can get it down another two feet and then I'll be pretty happy with that. Whoa, that could have hurt. Man, it's hard when you're not high enough. There's nothing to stand on. A little pale, maybe. Wow, that seems a bit, a bit dangerous here. I don't know, it seems like it's going down a little bit. 
They told me this was a 12 volt energizer for a fence. I opened up the box and it was a uh, 110. So it was way too late to actually uh, go back and I need it tonight. So I'm just hooking it up with my inverter. I'll show you how I have it hooked up. My inverter in it and I have my battery sitting there. I'm gonna have to make something a little bit better for it, but for now that's how it's gonna be. I'm gonna screw on the uh, lid just a little bit, uh, not tight, so there's a lot of airflow. But when I turn it on, She is firing up. Okay, so that's about it. I'm gonna grab all my stuff and go in before I get eaten alive by these mosquitoes. Um, I'll come out in the morning and take a look and see if it's still up and running. See you guys have a good.